Hey, how you doing today? My name is Ryan. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are playing Rusted Moss, and I'm going to show you where to find the shotgun. And this is a very cool weapon in the game, because what it allows you to do is it allows you to actually, like, get extra boost, and it'll kick you off to the side whenever you're moving. Uh, if you want to just run faster, it, it'll it'll store a little bit of uh, a little bit of speed as you're going. Um, man, I mean, it's just cool, because you can just... You, you, you just get so much more jump so much more oomph like let's say you want to jump and it gives you just that extra that extra little hop that you might need for just traveling around so let's let's go ahead and jump right in and i'll show you where you need to go and what you need so before we begin the things that you absolutely need are uh you need to be able to have the super jump you obviously need to have the grapple hook uh you need to have grenades to defeat the boss that's up at the top over here so if you haven't done those things and that's where you need to start. I'll leave a link down in the description below to the earlier videos that will get you to everything that you need to be able to get the shotgun. So uh, you can see here we are on the map. Uh, there's nowhere to go over here. You need the backtracking. But if we come up here, there's going to be... This is a, a pretty difficult jump. The way that I find doing this is you come to the back of the wall as far as you can. And then when you get to here, you try to go as far over as you can. If you try to go from too far too close, you're going to end up... Uh, you're you're going to send yourself too vertical when you get here. Because you need to go more to the side. Also, if you just barely touch this stuff, you take damage extremely quickly. So go straight up and then... There you go, just like that. That's that's a technique. That took me forever to figure out. I almost thought it was impossible. All right, so here we're going to have a, a mini uh, boss room fight, like a mini fight. All right, so you fight this guy. Again, the, the, the handgun makes short work of him. And then there's another one here and one on the other side. If you get them both side by side, it makes this fight not too bad. And then just watch out for the long shots. Just get them, just get them stuck in the corner, you know? Not, nothing like uh, trying to cheese your enemies. So there, there is a way, um, even now, to get up this way. If you're like really into getting up there, but it's uh, it's just a couple of chests. You get all your health because you're gonna need it, and then we are gonna jump, come across, nice and easy. I, I wish my enemies would also take damage from that that, that pink Ictor stuff, the way that I do. But apparently it's just not in the cards. So, right here, I'm not gonna lie, I got to here and I personally thought that the, the room was ended and there was nowhere for me to go. I think I might have even jumped up against this and was just like, what? Got all upset about it, but there's no need to get upset. You just keep going this way. So here you go, you got yourself a nice little save spot. There you go. You can make your way down. You can open up the backtracking. Because uh, Metroidvania, that's that's how we roll, right? So in this area, you got to really be careful for this pink stuff. Because it will mess you up. Let your enemies come to you a little bit. The room is clear. It is clean. We are free. Ooh, to press on. Alright. Uh, is this another fight? It sure is. So you got you to gotta get pretty good. And being able to swing and shoot at the same time. I mean, you don't have to be perfect, you know, it, but it definitely helps. It definitely makes life a lot easier if you're able to do both. All right, let's get my heal. All right. Oof. There we go. Another save spot. So here we are on the map. And what we're going to do is I believe we're going to head over to the left. Another fight room? Who would have guessed it? So watch out. This guy's more of like a shotgun type. But uh, like a lot of the enemies, if you deal enough damage, it resets their their attack. So it's kind of cool that you see that these guys have shotguns and then you're going to get a shotgun. And the shotgun is so cool. So on this, you want to wait until last second and then just walk right off. So wait till last second. There we go. Wait till last second. Ooh, that was close. I got it. I know what I'm doing. I swear I do. Again, do whatever you do. Just don't die. Another another fight room. 
and you just kind of have to go back and forth. Not too bad. Not too bad. We got this. I believe in you. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And so remember, you can use your grenades in this area if you need to. Got it. Okay. There we go. Now we can hop on out of here. We'll make our way to the left. Ooh. Almost had it. There we go. Another save spot. This is what I'm talking about. We always want the saves. You just, just feel so much better. And look at that. Now you got yourself another teleporter. We're making progress. It feels good. Into the right. And then down. We're going to fight these, these enemies over here. I just want your shotgun. That's all I want. Maybe a better version of it, but your shotgun nonetheless. All right, so once you do this, it might actually be worth it to... Well, eh, they make it pretty hard to double back. I, I'm sure you could figure it out, but just like that, that room's easy. And so this next room gets pretty tough, hence them giving you health. So wait for this stuff to go, and then... Get rid of this character. You got more on either side of you. I wish they got hurt the way that I did from this pink stuff. You know, like, that would make things so much easier. So once you make it through this room, you'll be able to come up. And you can go save if you if you want to be uh, super careful. But if, actually, if you come over here to the right... If you're almost dead, you should go back and save. But if you can get this super jump... So here, you'll be able to save just fine, and then you can do a super jump, and you can't make it up there normally. So it's kind of a funky thing, but if you do your super jump and hold on to the wall, you can get up here, and this, my friends, is where the shotgun is. So now, if you jump and aim down, look at that. You can really, if you, if you use it with momentum, it also helps you out a lot when you're like trying to swing and then you just need that just that little tiny bit of extra kick that little that little boosty over to the side. Oh, the shotgun is my favorite weapon for just like traveling around the map. It is so good. So anyways, let me know if you found this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for my members who are supporting the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you are still getting stuck on Rusted Moss and you need help knowing where to go, just go ahead and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you need help with and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thank you.